you also you also so in addition to multiplying in front like that in grade 11 you added a number on the end here what would you have used you would have used who knows d i don't know and you also you made some changes inside those brackets well you only made one kind of change inside those brackets you added or subtracted a number inside there and you looked at what happened with that so you need to remember from last year what each of those numbers does as in if if you're given the equation a half x minus 4 squared plus 2, how do, how do those three things change it? Okay, we're going to really quickly look and try and remember how those things change it. There's a difference between the, the changes inside the brackets and outside the brackets. All right, so let's go back to this. Let's actually use those same letters. There's an A. We need a... B, except let's make it the same as the other. So we can go from 10 to negative 10. Oh, I guess I didn't have B there, did I? <clears throat> okay, so much for my same letters. Because I've already got a C there for something. Okay, we'll use B inside the brackets. If you have if you have your equation now here we're gonna we're gonna add um, y equals a times x now I gotta use I gotta use b instead of c I hope you're okay with that because that's what we had before plus d as I change these values now. As you change those values, how does it affect the graph? Let's move these over here. How does the value inside the, let's change them one at a time here. Let's start with the value in front. So let's put this to zero and let's put this to zero. How does this value change what the parabola looks like? Oh, you want this another color now, do you? You want a different color this time or you still want purple again? Um, let's go for green. Okay, so the green is a new one. The green one has been transformed from this one. To transform this, if I put, I mean, 2.2 is maybe not a nice number, but if you put a 2 in front, you would probably say it looks like it's skinnier. We're actually going to look at that as a vertical change. It's taller. It's twice as tall. Any point, this point here has become this point here. Okay, that point is twice as high up. This point right here, if you move it to, uh, no, don't do that. When that's a 4, what would the corresponding point on here be? It's going to be 8, right? Because you have a 2 in front. Okay, you could look at it as a horizontal change, but that's not going to be so useful to us right here. The higher you make that number, the steeper the graph goes. It doesn't change a point at 0. That doesn't change at all because you're multiplying 0 by something that doesn't change. But every other point gets twice as steep. If you make this a one-half, and there somewhere is a one-half, then every point is half as big. Having trouble going right on a half. There it is. Okay, every point is half as big. That point is now down here, half instead of one, two instead of four. All the vertical values are cut in half. If you also make it negative, it's also a ref reflection as well. So if you just make it a if you just make it a negative one, it do, all it does is reflect it underneath, and it's exactly the same. All right, that's what that A does. Let's put it back to one, so there's no difference. Number in front is actually a change on Y. It changes the vertical values. What about this number inside? This is the number inside there. Oh, it shows it in this stupid form. Let's put it in... Why doesn't this allow us to put it in that form? Okay, well, don't worry about that. I know you weren't worried. This is actually um, this is actually uh, x squared x plus or minus a number all squared that moves the thing sideways, right? Now it displays it in a different form. It displays it in expanded form, which I don't want, but it doesn't seem like there's an option to put it the other way. That's if I'm graphing something like y equals x minus 2 squared. x minus 2 is going to move it which way? If I, if I make that value minus 2, what's it going to do? 
two to the right. It kind of does the opposite, right? If the first thing you're doing is subtracting two, you've got to make those values two bigger. When this was negative two, it moves it to the right. When this was positive, it moves it to the left. Again, because if the first thing you're going to do is subtract something, you've got to make these two larger. They get two larger. The third thing is this number outside here. You wrote it last year as a number outside of the function plus three. You could have been taught to write it over here like that. Whichever side it's on, it makes the same change. You probably looked at it like that. How did that change the function? If we put this back to zero now and we just change the other one. Can't do it. What's this going to do? Want to make this positive, which way is it going to go? When I make this positive, this is going to go up, right? This is the number on the on the on the right side. This is like x squared plus three, x squared plus two, x squared plus one. If it's x squared minus something, all the y values are getting lower every time you change it. All right? Those are the changes that we're going to look at here. Putting a number, multiplying the function by a number, and then shifting the function. Those same changes are going to happen here. The goal of this is to think about what is going to happen to this function when you make it y equals 3 to the x minus 2. The difference here is last year it was this. The function looks different, but the concept is the same. When you change, you probably didn't think of it as replacing. This year I'd like you to think of it as when you replace x with x minus 2, what change happens on a function? It moves 2 to the right. This is the same thing here. When you replace x with x minus 2, what's that going to do to the function? That's, that's, that's pretty cool, yeah. What's going to happen with that function? Exactly the same thing, right? The same thing happens any kind of a function. Even if it's a function you haven't learned about, you probably haven't graphed sine trig functions. But if you knew what they looked like, if I changed it to this, how are those two functions going to be related even though you probably don't know what they look like? If you replace x with x minus 2, what does that do? What is, how is this new function different? The whole graph is shifted 2 to the right, whatever you do. So if you know what the graph of this looks like, this graph is the same except every point is 2 to the right. If you know what this graph looks like, you got to think about how this changes. So I do want you to go through and kind of think about those things. Here's a, here's a basic function. The hard part here is the basic function already has a number in it, so it's harder to recognize. If you multiply it by 200 in front, if we go back to the graph here now and we put in instead of this function, uh, if we put in an exponential function, let's put 2 to the power of x. <coughs> illegal assignment wonderful <laughs> illegal why won't why can't I do 2 to the power of x because something's dependent on it already maybe yeah I'm gonna get rid of this gotta get rid of the green one first maybe well we'll fix it up here 2 to the power of x what are you doing let's start again start again Two to the power of x. Okay, there's two to the power of x, and now we have to make our new dependent one here, which was we want to do y y equals uh, a times two to the power of x. What's going to happen with that graph when I start making these changes here? And you want this to be green again. Not that green. Oh, you want to take this opportunity to pick. Um. This color? Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is crazy. So I'm putting a number in front of this here, right? What's going to happen as I make this larger? <coughs> Remember, this is not changing the base now. This is changing the number in front. So just look at what look at what this does over here. Right now it's 1 times 2 to the x. 1 doesn't change anything. If I make this bigger, what's going to change about this? What, what val is it going to change the x values, the y values? Y. It's going to change the y values because it's outside of the function. It's after you've taken care of the function. Whatever y value I had here, when I had a 2, 
if I make this into a 2, what's going to happen with that value now? It's going to be 4, right? The fact that you're multiplying by 2, all the y values are twice as tall. This would actually be better to see that concept in grade 11 because it doesn't pass through 0. Okay, no, this is still okay.